Stephen King has quit Facebook, saying that he is not comfortable with the flood of false information allowed in its political advertising. The best-selling horror novelist, a prolific user of social media, also essayed he was not confident in Facebook's ability to protect its users' privacy. King made the announcement on Twitter, where he has 5.6 meters followers. His Facebook page has been deleted. The social network has faced backlash over its decision not to fact-check political ads, with chief executive Mark Zuckerberg arguing that political speech is important and should not be censored. Facebook said last month that while it had considered limiting the targeting of political ads, it felt that people should be able to hear from those who wish to lead them, warts and all, and that what they say should be scrutinized and debated in public. Last October, the company came under fire for airing a 30-second video from the Trump campaign that falsely claimed that Joe Biden promised Ukraine a billion dollars if they fired the prosecutor investigating his son's company. CNN declined to run the ad, saying that it makes assertions that have been proven demonstrably false by various news outlets. When the Biden campaign complained about the ad, Facebook invoked its fundamental belief in free expression, respect for the democratic process, and belief that, in mature democracies with a free press, political speech is already arguably the most scrutinized speech there is. Writing for The New York Times last week, the billionaire philanthropist George Soros said, I believe that Mr. Trump and Facebook's chief executive, Mark Zuckerberg, realize that their interests are aligned, the president's in winning elections, Mr. Zuckerberg's in making money, Facebook, Soros wrote, follow s only one guiding principle, maximize profits irrespective of the consequences. Twitter, where King made his announcement, has banned all political advertising. King has long used the site as a way to air his political opinions, most recently using it to announce his support for Elizabeth Warren. I'll support and work for any Democrat who wins the nomination, but I'm pulling for Elizabeth Warren, he wrote. I'd love to see her open a large can of whoop on Trump in the debates. <laughs>